Um, so for so uh, obviously we are live. Also we are recording this for so rentals club and to share it. Um, uh, so for those watching live, thanks for being here. Uh, and now for um, without further ado, I will go straight into the question. Henry, uh, so much so great to have you here. Um, what we want to do today is uh, you are the founder of uh, not just one, but two services in the right. vacation tech industry. This is actually amazing. So I'm going to be asking a few questions about how you do this, basically. Um, and that would, of course, be the occasions for people to know more about your welcome, as well as propertycare.com, which is your, your new service. Um, without further ado, let's just uh, dive straight into the questions. So. Um, so as a vacation re rental tech entrepreneur, how do you validate business ideas? Uh, maybe can you walk us through the example of propertycare.com? Because as I said, you only have, not only have one, but two services in industry. Yeah, so, so although, although it's two services, it's actually, it is one product effectively. So essentially how, how those sort of products evolved is that, uh, and you'll probably remember this, we met very early on in our, um, uh, in our journey. You're welcome. Uh, everyone knows us as the uh, smart tablet for vacation rentals or holiday rentals, depending where you are. And basically, um, we have, I mean, pre-pandemic, we got up to about 18,500 properties. Our tablets were installed in working with over 1,500 uh, vacation rental managers. And I think, I think the thing is for us is that um, when you're working with that amount of companies, as we all know, there is no vacation rental company that is the same process, has the same, although they have the same problems, whether or not you're based in America or Orlando, or you're in call in the UK, you have the same problems. You've got to get occupancy. You've got to make sure the properties are clean. You've got to make sure you can acquire more properties and grow. They're all the same problems, but the way they run them is so very, very different. So one of the things that we kind of notice very much uh, on our tablets, we've always had um, a housekeeping elements of the tablet so cleaners were always able to log onto the tablets there's a very simple checklist and we really noticed that the, you know just before the start of the pandemic that increasingly that was becoming one of the core features of your welcome mm -hmm. so we made a decision that we were going to build out the task management platform specifically for vacation rentals and you know that that bit of software itself is actually quite complex because there's loads of task management softwares out there that is industry agnostic but when you're building task management related to vacation rentals all the automation of task generation scheduling and assignment of the task to the cleaner is all built around bookings check-ins and checkouts so you need so that that's different from all, uh, normal task management so we took the view quite early that we couldn't really sell that as a standalone product alongside the tablets because we did a bit of market research and pretty much whenever you say to people you're welcome the first thing that people come back with are the tablet guys or you know the the hardware guys and so we thought this was going to be very challenging to try and go look you know we've got this product over here where it's all centered around hardware and over here we have um, a, an amazing bit of software that automates assigning all of your property care and uh, task management cleaning needs, but you don't need the tablet for that. So we took the view that we would have two different sales channels that links into one backend portal, but obviously we just have tablets. A lot of it's commented out. If you have the property care section, the tablet bits commented out and you have all of it, obviously it, 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 it's all there. And obviously we then acquired what we believe is the best in class domain name, which is propertycare.com. And that term, you'll know, having spent a bit of time in America, particularly that that's a very hot topic, that term. So we were quite pleased to do that. So I think it, the short answer to your question is, we already had a lot of customers. We knew what their needs were. We saw the increasing need on our own tablet side. So we knew there'd be a market there before we started, which wasn't the case with your welcome, which was very much more an instinct as opposed to a, a kind of reality that we knew would work. Yeah, and let's talk about that, Henry, because as you said, you, with your welcome, in a way, you were sort of you know, creating a category, a category yeah. of, of products. But yeah. in a way, property care is a big is a, is a term in itself, but it's it's also um, maybe something new again to the industry. Or what this this does is can be tricky. So obviously, when you are you know when you have when you're entering two new categories, you have to evangelize the market. And you have yeah. to make people understand what it's about. And what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to read something you do on your website. 
to help people understand what propertycare.com does, right? Uh, I think what's really interesting, you 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 are talking to property managers, basically, right? That's who the right. product is for. And what property managers know is kind of software. They know what a PMS does. So what you do on your website, I'm going to read what I see there. It's like on your website, you say, okay, you have your PMS and your PMS does accounting, channel management, booking, inventory control, management, and CRM. And then you put on the side on the side of it, you say, okay, what this is what propertycare.com does. Housekeeping and maintenance platform, guest ID aggregation, verification, automated SMS and email guest comps. Uh, you can sell guest services and automated brand and guest messaging. Uh, so you put this side by side so people can understand that it's I guess it's it's not a PMS, but it kind of works with a PMS. So basically, how do you usually try to explain these complicated uh, concepts to potential well, customers? Well, do you know, it's easier this time around. When we first started with the tablets, people, that was a completely new genre, like literally. And really, we were really focused on that we can reduce the amount of staff that you need, but give a quality guest experience. And the way that you can do that is mm. not relying on them downloading apps. Literally a physical tablet, like we used to walk in a hotel room. Hi, Henry. Here's a list of services. Here's how everything works great great service but with this one it's quite interesting in that what one of the things we've noticed is pms's do a lot of things right it's a really complex bit of software and actually you know we 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 talk to a lot of um uh customers and often customers that is a funny thing within vacation rooms. everyone says no one's ever happy with their pms and i actually i have a lot of sympathy for pms's because they're trying to do a lot of things that are very complex and in reality the change in the industry of keeping up with all the different channels, the different protocols these channels are doing, is a very, very challenging concept. So if you're guesting and you've raised you know, $70 million, you probably can go after all sectors, but it's still quite slow. So one of the things that we kind of identified quite early is that the basics around property management haven't changed. You've got to make sure the property is clean. You've got to try and ensure you have a consistency of products across potentially multiple cities, multiple countries. That is really, really hard. And the inevitable thing of this is, is property management systems, until fairly recently, were not really focused on the management of cleaners and maintenance staff. Mm -hmm. And also the intricacies of that is also quite complex because some people have in-house cleaners, they also have freelance cleaners, and they use third-party companies to fill in the gaps. So what you then got to create is a fairly bit of standalone bit of tech. And actually, I think it's completely understandable that a lot of property managers have not focused on that element of it, because from their side, what's more important, the accounting has got to be great, channel management, not conflicting bookings, et cetera, et cetera. So we spotted what we thought was a very, very interesting, what is could be seen as a niche part of the market, but actually when you think about it, the property is not clean and the guests can't get in, it's absolutely crucial. And a lot of the PMSs that we work with, I think are actually quite pleased that we've developed this because it might all be on their roadmap, they're gonna massively improve their housekeeping and cleaning management down the line. But right now they can retain their customers because it's a perfectly great bit of technology we've developed that integrates fully with them. We've worked with them for years, everyone already knows us. So I think that we're not alone. There's a lot of other uh, companies that sort of skirt around the edges of the PMS. And I do think people, in America, everyone gets this. In Europe, it's a bit more of an education piece, as you correctly identified, about how people want the best technology for every part of their business. So uh, I know lots of people that use Zero for their accounting outside of the PMS as well, because that is seen as the best in class accounting software, as an mm. example. So, you know, I think we're going to see this more and more as, as the, you know, as uh, you know, as it evolves. And also, the last thing to say is, is that, you know, it's very hard for a PMS to create software that works for a venture-backed Airbnb management company that all they're looking to do is scale and have less focus on the, the actual nuts and bolts of, of property management. And then also cater for someone who's been around for 50 years that have 50 properties, run it amazingly well, previously have used legacy software. Marrying those teams together is a really hard business. So I think there's always going to be companies like us that can exist in that ecosystem around it. I say I'm going to go back to the you know, links with the PMSs. I think it is very, very interesting what you just talked about, how you integrate with PMSs. Yeah. Um, and on your website, for example, if you go, people go to propertycare.com, again, great URL. I don't know how you got this one, but propertycare.com. Um, it says it's powered by Your Welcome. And yeah. you kind of said, so is Your Welcome the hardware? And have you taken the software and try yeah. to sell software. How, how, how should we think about it? So, so, propertycare.com is just a sales channel. It is a website to buy that section of our product. So it's powered by your welcome. The reason why it is, is we've built up a pretty good brand globally in vacation rental software. 
Your Welcome Limited is the company that owns Your Welcome and Property Care. Your Welcome Limited has all the connections with the PMS that feeds into our main platform. And if people want to buy Property Care, they come in via propertycare.com. If they want to buy Your Welcome Tablets, they come in via, via Your Welcome Tablets. I think it's just, it is literally just a case of that, you know, we all know that as technology supplies to the vacation rental in industry, paying for Google AdWords is not the way that you're going to scale your vacation rental tech business. The two mm -hmm. ways you're going to do it is word of mouth and high quality SEO. That is just, you know, there's, there's ways you can, you can pay and you can try and speed up a bit, but they are the, the principles and they haven't changed as we started five years ago. So our view was that with that domain and the SEO, we can do specifically targeting people to look for housekeeping solutions. We could very quickly become a, a domain authority on Google very quickly. Whereas if we try to mix and match it with your welcome, that whole sales channel becomes a quite a mixed messaging and we think we'd lose an opportunity because this opportunity I think is with COVID-19 for developing a pretty significant housekeeping task management platform is now not in six months seven months time because you know other people will, will enter the market so that's kind of why we decided to do it that way around essentially. And, and so it's a naive question maybe right again just rephrasing this uh, so everything that property that everything the software does that's uh, offered on propertycare.com, everything that's been possible there is possible through your welcome. Correct. Well. It's the same. It's the same portal. It's just that some of it's commented out and, and not. And I think, you know, in an ideal world, we'd prefer to have one sales channel. It's just the reality of how, like, if you think about it, if someone's looking in a company for guest experience, that is a different person who's looking for operational backend software. So, it's not good enough that you can just rely on people coming and go, have you seen our software? Why don't you have a look at this? They'll be, oh, that's a different department. So we've got to target both sides of that business. And we're up against, you know, companies that have a lot more money in, in America than us that we've got, to, you know, we've got to be more nimble, outcompete different strategies. And, you know, I think that's what you've got to do, you know, in this type of industry. I think it's a very, very interesting way uh, for, um, to help you know, discovery of your solution by different types of stakeholders in our industry, right? It can be, as you say, people in charge of operations, of guest communications, not the same people. In smaller companies, they are the same people, not in large, larger companies probably, right? And, um, but even if these are different maybe stakeholders, there's still like one crucial issue at some point. They will ask, okay, it's a great solution. I love your welcome and you have property care. How does it integrate? with my PMS. And I guess property care obviously benefits from, as you said, all the integrations that you've already done for, for your welcome. Can, can you talk a bit about this? Basically, how many integrations do you have and how, how crucial is it in terms of distribution? This is, I mean, this is one of the reasons why we launched this and we knew that it would be successful is when you look at it, your welcome has got, uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 40, maybe 42 PMS connections. Oh. Now we know within this industry that PMS connections is becoming a very, very hot topic with vendors. And I think it's going to become a hot topic with the property managers soon as well. Because when you look at what a property management does, they provide amazing service to all of the all of their customers. But what they also do is they can they have all their data that is owned by the property manager, but is contained within that property management system. Now, any third party system you need, needs access to that data that is effectively the property manager's data. So we know that it's very, very difficult for a startup company to come out of nowhere and start integrating with PMSs because the first question they ask is how many companies are you working with? Do we have a mutual client? So, you know, when you look at who could develop a platform like ours, there actually aren't that many companies outside that, you know, who could from a standing start go, one, we've got all the integrations, but also for us, secondly, we're going to give this for free for the first year for most of our tablet customers. Plus, we've signed up about 5,000 uh, properties for um, property care. So from a standing start, property care will be servicing 15,000 properties. Now, that is not something you can do just coming into the industry cold. So we had a huge competitive advantage walking into this on that basis, um, which is why we think it was a good strategy to do this. And I'm going to add another question uh, here. Um, if I'm correct, in a way, if I look at some features like the guest ID and the stuff, this probably talks a lot, let's say, to people who have properties in Spain, for example, or other countries in Europe. But obviously, you, you're also targeting US property managers, right? Uh, so am I right to think maybe some features talk more to one side of the Atlantic or the other? How do you see it, that kind of like geography for your product? 
So I think property care as a genre is well established in the US. There's a couple other people that have done this. There's more, in, the PMSs in America are, are already kind of really focused on this. So really what we're doing there is that our price point, you probably see on the website, is $2 or two euros or two pounds per property per month. We're going for scale very quickly and it's a self-service platform. So the idea is that very well, well doc documented, very good onboarding and you're able to set up and run this for, uh, 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 from here. But in yeah. Europe, this is something that from this is talking to customers is people need this, but they don't know that there is software that can help them with this, essentially. So what they do is they run it off a combination of PMS, Excel, WhatsApp, uh, email, and it's, it is a, it's a bit of a mess. So what's actually happening is that people are kind of looking. I think why a lot of people in Europe come to our website is they're looking to change the PMS. It's actually what happens. And they're looking for housekeeping and scheduling and then go, oh, that's interesting. There's something that can actually already talk to something that I'm using and that works really well. So in terms of our strategy, we, we've got very established sales cycle. 80% of our You're Welcome tablets are distributed in the US. But actually, we've seen a pretty much a if not a parallel, if not slightly quicker growth in Europe. And I think that is purely because also like with COVID-19 has hit Europe so much worse in terms of being able to travel. And I think the consumer is so aware in Europe that they want to know the COVID protocols. They want to know about the cleaning yes. prior to arrival. Whereas in the US, and you probably have this, I talked to my US sales team and it's, it's not quite like this, but they're almost like, are you guys still talking about COVID-19? Like, no, are we still talking? A number of countries... They're still on lockdown. I mean, you know, France, as you know, is still, I believe, a challenge for skiing currently. Um, so, 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 so the short, short answer to this question is the product is conceived as an American genre that already exists that we believe we can take to Europe successfully and also very quickly. So if you look at our PMS integrations, we integrate with most, I'm not going to say all, but most of the European leading PMSs as well as the US ones, which gives us a very solid start to go. Fantastic. And um... Uh, is there any question I should have asked you? I forgot to ask, but I didn't ask. No, I think I think I think the main the main question for me is like how the like if if we if we look at the impact broadly of what COVID nineteen has done combined with a number of other factors, um, you know, we're, we're talking about this on our webinar um, on the twenty fourth. Is that from our side, what we've seen is there's been a huge crunch in the ability to be able to get cleaners, uh, you know, to recruit them and to also retain them. And yep. inflation is rising, wages are rocketing. And we all know that basically the cleaners are the bedrock of, of property managers. If you haven't got no cleaners, the property managers themselves are having to go in and actually physically clean those properties. And I think that what, what, what we see as a trend that's coming forward that I think property managers sell or propertycare.com solves is you're going to have to manage more properties with the same or less staff. Otherwise, your costs are going to rocket. There's not many ways that you can do that other than optimizing how you do your processes. Now, I think this is going to become a bigger and bigger topic. Whereas if I'm honest, in the past, when better times, everything was a bit more sexy. We were talking about, you know, nightly rates. We were talking about guest experience, like all the sort of fun bits of property management. Whereas I think now the real focus is going to be on the nuts and bolts of how do you get guests in? How is it clean? Main maintaining reviews and ensuring consumer confidence. Which is probably the biggest of all of these is that it's clean and it's safe. And I think that really property care as a genre is, is huge, it's going to play a huge part in that, not just our product, but whoever else comes into this space. And I think we'll also see PMSs starting to put more onus on that element of it rather than it being a kind of, yeah, I know you've got to do it, but it's not the sexy bit of this industry. So it's interesting. We'll see. I think it's a very, very fair point. And uh, um, to your point, as you said as well, but managing will be important. Guests care about this and costs are rising. Uh, inflation, for example, in Spain, I was looking yesterday, inflation in Spain last year was 6%. So it does mean like the wages of uh, cleaners also have to rise by at least 6%. At least. Because as you said, it's they are rare commodities and you want to retain the best ones to train and retain. So it is very crucial, I guess. And we see in you, I mean, I'm based in London and we also have the impact of Brexit as well. Now, no one wants to talk about it, but a lot of the cleaning staff for vacation rentals came from Europe. Now, you know, just to give you one example, my own personal cleaner, the increase of my cleaner for my domestic home has gone up 40%. <laughs> it's wow. extraordinary. So, uh, you know, and this in England is even more of a problem. I mean, I, I was in um, uh, Devon recently. We were going go to see some clients and we were driving past hotels with signs up saying we no longer open mon uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because they just can't, they just said we just can't get the staff to do it. And I think that, you know, this industry is not going to 
die based on inflation, but I think there's going to have to be some changes around, you know, there's only a certain amount you can up your nightly rate before it doesn't become a viable product for a family traveling there, or you're suddenly competing with very luxury hotels. And then there's a question mark to certain types of travelers, whether the value point still remains. So I think this is something we're going to see more and more of. So Henry, if people want to know more, let's say about either your uh, yeah. welcome or uh, propertycare.com, what should they be doing? So if you go on to uh, our website, we've talked mainly about property care. So we'll start with that. So that's www.propertycare.com. Very simple domain. You'll be able to book a demo or indeed just get in contact. And if you're interested in your welcome tablets, which is a, a physical point of sale that you install in your properties, that's yourwelcome.com, Y-O-U-R, welcome.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Henry. And Hello. as you alluded to that, you actually mentioned that clearly, we will also meeting again on January 22nd. We'll be talking about trends in industry. And we just heard that you you really are, you know, you've already taken the pulse of a few of those trends already that you know about. And we'll be talking with your rentals, uh, rented.com about uh, the trends in Europe. So uh, if you love this topic, uh, make sure not to miss the conference out. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Harry, today. Much appreciated. Thank you.